if I told you that college funding is lacking in resources and time, and that it can only go so far with individual funding? Vuja de, a term coined by Adam Grant, where we face similar situations on a day-to-day -day basis, but then we have a fresh perspective that allows us to gain insight into our old problem. That insight is the inspiration for our company, Fortuna. Fortuna is a company that powers a community-based platform with the infrastructure of Angie's List, the interface of Netflix with the informational resources of Reher. We provide, <coughs> we help colleges and businesses connect not just the individual for, to align their values for a reciprocal relationship. My name is Jacob Hurd. I'm Allie Howe. I'm Austin Warner. And today we're gonna to share with you why we believe Fortuna is an innovative company and looks at this problem in a different light. But first, I would like to share with you a story. Joanna is an 89 Gustavus graduate. Today she owns a financial firm in the Twin Cities known as Vantage Wealth. She is also a certified financial planner. Now let me just ask you, don't you all know that one person who just has the brightest smile on her, their face and has the most welcoming personality? This doesn't even come close to describing how amazing Joanna is. In addition, she is always striving to help others. Joanna is currently looking to grow and expand her business as well as her clientele. One day, she receives an email from Gustavus notifying her of a recent launch of a platform known as the Gusty Community Market. She is interested as she reads about how the platform connects alumni, students, and the school. And then, Joanna, interested in the opportunity to work with other Gusties, as well as to the possibility of making new connections, she decides to make a profile on the platform. And so when Joanna first goes to the site, she's greeted by our welcoming page, the middle image that you see. Each circle represents a different connection that you can make, consumer to business, business to business, student to business, and college to business. And so she wants to explore a little bit, and the right image shows the consumer to business, where it's defaulted to have the most desired goods and services um, populating it. So financial and legal services, for example. However, you can search for whatever you want really simply. Now, Joanna is getting really excited by the possibility that the Gusty Community Market has to offer. She likes the chance to both grow her client list and do it with the Gusty at the same time. So she decides to create a profile. To do that, you just need some basic information, your name and year, your business and the sector, the expertise on the goods and, services you, goods and services you can provide, and a photo and a contact email to round it all out. However, you can also supply a description of your business and links to your Facebook, LinkedIn, and business page as well to strengthen your profile. Joanna is getting really excited to work with Gusties, but she also wants to know a little bit more about how Vantage Wealth can gain from being on this platform. Like Austin said, I will now talk about more about Joanna's company, Vantage Wealth, and how it can utilize the platform. Now, Gustavus doesn't only want Joanna to see, succeed, they want her business to succeed as well. And this is where one of Fortuanda's values can be seen. One of our company's main values is to be a mutual benefit between colleges and businesses. A platform like LinkedIn serves as a um, serves as a benefit for individuals. However, our company, Fortuenda, serves to serve the businesses first. And one of the unique things about that is by refining and creating the platform, we can create a trusted market and therefore businesses can exceed and um, propel as well as um, propel further into the future, as well as, um, therefore, this um, accelerates business relationships, like, between Gusties. Now, like Ellie had mentioned, you're probably wondering how the college and the business get a mutual relationship out of this. Well, first, the business owner gets an uh, exclusive market and the college gets a refined list for corporate sponsorships. So, as you can see, with the Christmas in Christ Chapel, Joanna 
is very excited and believes in Christmas in Christ Chapel. And now the platform makes it more efficiently and she can truly help accelerate and advance Christmas in Christ Chapel as one of the events. And now you can see there's also plenty of other events up here that people can take part in. So let me paint you a few pictures here. Imagine we're sitting outside homecoming, all you guys are coming back. And to sponsor the event, there's Gussie owned alumni restaurants. And they are in the tent and you get to eat their food and enjoy their experience. Or you have Nobel Conference where Joanna's business, Vantage Wealth, can take advantage and help sponsor the event. Or this very own Gusty Entrepreneur Cup where you can help sponsor events and help, help the group flourish and grow. Or you have a new graduate ready to take on the new world. But before that happens, their senior week is sponsored by Bent Cattle Brewing Company. I know I would enjoy that. <laughs> so that's why Fortune Menda focuses on businesses like Vantage Wealth, because we know they're the key to taking the next step. Not the larger corporations, but the smaller ones, because they can generate the reciprocal relationship the platform desires. Gustavus will be our first client and the person we're having our proof of concept with. Now we did our market research into the alumni of Gustavus and came up with these key figures that you see here. Gustie owned businesses will annually donate $4 million, and of that, the highest percentage at 9% goes to higher education, or $360,000. Our first year on the site, being active, would anticipate to have $60,000 raised in corporate sponsorships. So a college the size of Gus Davis would be charged $25,000 to implement the site. And with our anticipated corporate sponsorships of $60,000 in the first full year, that would return a 2.4 ROI, with it only going up as more businesses are added onto the platform. Now our next step would be to generate a free of charge, free of charge beta platform through Gus Davis to receive analytics and proof of concept along with refining our pricing strategies. We would initial, initially team up with Gustavus for the launch, but then we would thereafter own the concept and aim at colleges with a sophisticated strategy, and you find value in our platform's, our platform's ability to make community connections. We have, currently have the support of the Office of Alumni and Parent Engagement, with the next step being the Offices of Corporate and Foundational Relations and the Office of Advancement Services. The use of these funds would be geared towards, specifically geared towards LLC licensing, but mainly programming and designing the website. Our goal is to be up and running by the year 2018. Now you may be wondering what our company name Fortuenda means. And no, we didn't just roll our fingers over the keyboard carelessly. Our team drew inspiration from the Swedish word for trust. Why trust? As you heard in our stories, our team was, um, is, our company was our team is inspired by this, is rooted from the word trust. With these values in mind, our team's mission is to be the company that creates a reciprocal relationship between colleges and businesses for a devoted community. Thank you. Are, are there, um, if, if you look at many of the other universities and colleges. I mean, I think the, the basic concept just makes a, a ton of sense. Um, in terms of managing alumni and trying to build their, their networks, are there uh, other universities or are there competitors that you've seen out there that are, are trying to do a better job at bringing in the, uh, you know, kind of the university community broadly defined? Yeah, I mean, when I searched, a lot of schools, they're all about engagement and trying to get the alumni connected to stay involved with the campus. For most of my research, there wasn't a direct link to finding a platform like this. I did, when I was searching, I saw Carleton and St. John's, they had a uh, like yellow pages look to it, but they didn't have the interactive interface that Fortune would provide. A lot of times getting these things working, it requires a lot of uh, marketing to get the alumni engaged in using the site. Have you thought through any ideas of you that you could add value in doing that when you're approaching a Gustavus or another school? Yeah, well just for our initial marketing ideas, uh, just for Gustavus's purposes, we're thinking about how we can connect with the students and then ways we can connect with the alumni, because those are two different routes of marketing. 
So we thought we looked into emailing and reaching out that way to business owners along with popular events like the Gustavus Quarterly and stuff of that sort. And students don't check their P.O. box as much, but we can always get paper out uh, that way too. Also, just to touch on this a little bit more, um, a lot of the interaction after you graduate is just the individual alumni being connected. And so the purpose of us and another unique aspect is that it also connects the gusty owned businesses or alumni businesses with the college because that gets lost in the shuffle. Let's hear it for them.